some brands just have it. At their core is an intense drive to invent, to create, to do things that have never been done before. Design is simply in their DNA. Let's explore the creatives behind these brands and find out how they approach making life a little better for those they are designing for. This is Design DNA. I think the main ingredient in my collections is the word I use over and over again, which is comfort. You know, I mean, when you're cooking a meal, especially, you know, we talk about comfort food. You know, my mom was an amazing cook, and my dad was too. I, I learned by, you know, helping. And then when I got to college, I was kind of a late bloomer. I moved to Nashville, I was here, I was living in an apartment, and I was homesick, and I missed my mom's cooking, and I called home and just said, tell me how to make something. I need to make something of yours. And it was a potato salad recipe that has like four ingredients. And when I, when I could make it, it was a sense of accomplishment. And then I also was that connection to home. And I think that's the main ingredient for, for furniture for me. I want it to be beautiful and clean, but I want it to feel like you can flop down on that couch and be comfortable. I've always chosen to do things, whether it's music, whether it's cooking, whether it's designing furniture, um, based on what feels right to me. I've always felt like as long as I'm following my gut and I'm doing things that feel natural to me, then I'm going to be okay. And that has served me well. I've never, um, I do a lot of things, but I only do the things that make sense to me. And I, I say no to a lot of things that just don't feel like they really fit. And so for me, whether I'm choosing a song or whether I'm working on a recipe for the show or whether I'm designing or helping with a piece of furniture, it has to feel like it's organic to me. And I think that's the key and I think that's why when things are successful, I think people know. They know if you are really into it or if you're just putting your name on something. And I'm just not the put your name on something person. It's always about, you know, especially in country music, it tells a story, you know. She's in Love the Boy is about, is about a, you know, nobody's ever good enough for daddy's little girl. You know, it's like, and then Walk Away Joe is like, well, maybe Katie and Tommy didn't work out so well. <laughs> you know, there's always a story that weaves through. And when I first started on the very first cookbook, with my mom and my sister. We sat and talked about our family stories and we told those stories. And as much as I think people enjoyed the recipes and making those dishes, they also enjoyed the why. They enjoyed the story around that. And we told those stories. And that's what we've continued to do in the books. You wouldn't think with a furniture line, how do you tell a story? Well, the story is, this is why I named this piece Gwendolyn. This is about my mother and this is what reminded me of her when I named this piece. Um, the Charlotte desk was named after my English teacher in high school because she was one of my great teachers who encouraged me to write. She's probably the reason that I actually wrote my cookbooks because she gave me the confidence as a writer. It's a writing desk, so let's tell that story. And I think as long as you're staying true to yourself and really telling those stories, you're gonna, be in a, you're gonna end up in a good place. And it's what has made it for me as a person who does have a lot on their plate, no pun intended, I don't want to do it unless it feels like that, unless I can, unless there is a story for me to tell. Our spaces tell so much about who we are. And I think you tell that story with everything that's in your home. For me, I want you to walk into my house and go, oh, she doesn't mind if I take my shoes off and walk around barefoot in here because she's comfortable. Well, home is all about your space and feeling good in your space, feeling comfortable. I believe homes, rooms have an energy and furniture really helps create that vibe. So for me, it's important that, you're, that your surroundings feel, um, make you feel good. And sometimes that's, it's beautiful. And sometimes that's, this is the most comfortable thing I've ever sat on in my life. I think a beautiful home that's comfortable makes for a happy life. What I love about our furniture line is not only that it's all there, but each piece has some, it's really functional. You want it to be functional. So if it's, a, if it's an island that goes in your kitchen, it may have a fold up piece to make it a table. It may have storage underneath for vegetables and things like that. There's always just some little special feature to me that makes it just a little bit over the top. And, and I love that. We have a great team of artists who really work on finishes. Finishing is really important. And so it's a mixture of texture, color, and hardware, everything down to every detail from whether it's gonna be a brushed nickel or whether it's gonna be something bronze for this. And those, I think, are the things that make our furniture line special are those little attentions to detail because people care about 
the, the glass in the pieces. They care about the finishes. They care about the kind of wood you use. They care about what that knob or that pull looks like, the, the shape of it, how it feels in your hand, what it looks like. So sometimes it starts with a color and sometimes it starts with, I like this vibe, you know, and then it, then it just morphs into, that's what great designers do is they take those creative ideas and they somehow turn it onto the page and make it look real. You know, the wonderful thing about working with Klausner has been getting to know the, the design team and getting to work with them and really see how, how important it was to them that I'd be happy and that it really represent me. Um, I, I just couldn't be happier. It's, it's the dream relationship. This is the, this is, this is the model for how you would hope a relationship would go. You, you love the people you work with and you are so proud of the product that you create together. I think just like where I'm standing right now, this kitchen is comfortable. And I, I use that word, I mean, it's in, all, it's in everything we talk about with furniture because it's important and it's not just about sitting on a couch that feels comfortable, it's about how your life feels, especially at home. That should be the place that everything is the way that you want it. I think we're all looking for that perfect recipe for happiness. You know, we're looking for what, what in our lives and our home life makes us happy. And, and, and as we grow older and as we see more of the world, we understand how important home is, I think more than ever.